Hey guys, welcome to this special how-to tutorial on uh, making the boiler for, uh, well, in this case it's the boiler from my Sierra number 30, um, which is basically the same as the 32s. I'm using the 32s to make my new boiler for the 30, but this is basically how I make all my boilers. Uh, this is a really simple process um, making this video because of popular demand a few people have asked me in the past uh, to make tutorials on how you make your boilers or cabs or whatever anyway <clears throat> so basically I take strips of styrene and uh, attach them around uh, the brass tubing which is a smoke box uh, in this case right here I usually attach it to the smoke box first um, and then, you know, I put the pieces at an angle to the smoke box. You can kind of see. Uh, and uh, usually the bottom, uh, which is not attached yet in this case, uh, usually the bottom will be flat with the smoke box and not tapered. Um, and the rest of it will be uh, slightly tapered. It will be slightly different depending on the boiler. <clears throat> some locomotives have straight boilers in which case you would not need to do this at all you could just use a single tube uh, but yeah it's uh, basically just a few strips of styrene all glued together this is what it looks like before I filed it filed and sanded and rounded it out and you can see here these few sections on this side have, uh, I've started to round those out um, and it's all just a lot of glue uh, you can see the inside it's all flat panels on the inside it's all just flat glue um, and uh, it's, it's all just glue and flat uh, styrene panels just layers and layers glued together and uh, once you filed it all out then it takes a round shape and you just keep filing it and you know fixing your any mistakes you make until you come out with the finished product, which will look a little something like this. Uh, okay, so you see the 32's boiler is very good, very professionally done. Uh, at least that's what it looks like now. <laughs> um, you see the, uh, the front boiler strap right before the uh, smoke box, you know, the graphite paint, uh, and the strap in between this, the uh, front uh, sand dome and steam dome, that is the taper there, uh, and that's after it's been all rounded out, and it looks great. Um, so basically what you end up with is a uh, scratch-built boiler that looks pretty spot on. Uh, I'm really lucky that uh, I had a twin locomotive to uh, use my you know, an existing boiler to make a new one. Um, and I'm going to take a break from this video and uh, after the transition you'll see what it looks like after it's been completely rounded out. Um, and yeah. Okay guys, uh, welcome back and uh, as you can see uh, all of the rough edges on the taper of the boiler have been smoothed out. Uh, I've still got a bit more work to do uh, before I can uh, you know say that the main boiler structure is finished and I can put on the jacket and the uh, domes and whatnot. But uh, it's the hardest part of it is finished. I'm uh, going to connect the smoke box and the taper of the boiler to the firebox in a little bit um, but uh, let's just uh, stop and say uh, alright you see that uh, that little mark there on the inside is uh, I marked that as the center of the bottom of the boiler uh, so I'll know you know how to join the firebox with it if you mess that up then you might end up with a boiler that uh, won't look or fit quite right onto uh, your chassis. Uh, it's hard to explain but from experience that's what I figured out. <clears throat> uh, so yeah let's take a side look at it. 
So you can see the taper there a little bit. It's not it's not a very steep uh, bend in the boiler, uh, but you can see it. And you can see the, uh, the bottom of the boiler is flat and the top is tapered. It works its way around. Uh, so what I'm going to do next, you can kind of see some rift patterns on the styrene. That's from the different layers uh, that have built up, uh, you know, gluing and whatnot. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this black. And any cracks I see, the black paint will help me to uh, see any cracks or, uh, you know, things that need to be filled in with glue. I'm going to fill them in with glue and then I'm going to sand them. I'm going to keep filing and sanding them until I get a completely rough shape. And I'll probably end up painting it black a few more times um, so that I know that everything's smoothed out. And once everything is completely smooth, then I'll know that uh, there's no more work I need to do on the taper and it'll be ready to go. Uh, be that ready for the jacket or whatever. I'm not sure I'll jacket the taper section, but I'll be jacketing the uh, firebox section. Anyway, uh, so let's skip over now to the uh, part where I show you the black paint and whatnot. Uh, well guys, welcome back and uh, again here we are with the boiler. Uh, basically the structure is finished. The smoke box, the taper section, and the firebox have been joined. And I've painted the taper. And let's take a look at that. And uh, you see that uh, darker mark? The darker marks on this uh, section of the boiler are not brush strokes. Those are the layers of styrene showing through. You can see uh, the edges are where the layers intersect, you know, where they've gone through uh, after sanding and filing so much. Uh, anyway, uh, see if you can find any nicks. Uh, you can see one right there, uh, right there in the center. You can see that little nick there that needs to be filled in with glue. Uh, there's a couple, there's there's nicks all over the place. You can kind of see them uh, right there at the top a little bit. You can see that. They all need to be filled in with glue uh, and then sanded. And I need to keep doing that until all the dents and nicks are filled in. Uh, what I'll usually do uh, is put a layer of styrene over the finished taper section and the firebox, um, you know, because uh, the layers will be completely hidden. You won't be able to see any changes in the paint once it's done. Uh, you don't have to, but you risk uh, the layers showing through the paint because I've tried layers and layers of paint in the past to cover it up and it just doesn't work uh, for whatever reason. Uh, but anyway, what I'll usually do is uh, just put a layer of styrene over the taper section and the firebox, uh, you know, as the boiler jacket, and that'll cover everything up and give it a nice smooth look. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to do it on this particular boiler or not because the taper is pretty thick. You can actually see um, that it's a little bit larger in diameter than the firebox. Uh, so I'm thinking I'll put a, just a jacket section on the firebox and try to do my best with the taper. If that doesn't work out, I'll put a jacket on both sections. Anyway, so that's basically how you do it. Uh, I'll come back and uh, show you one last finished product uh, after I've sanded out all the, you know, sanded and buffed out all the dents and scratches and things uh, from the construction of the boiler. Uh, when the jacket is installed, uh, and that's as far as I'll take this video. Uh, by the way, this is locomotive number 32 with the 32's boiler being right there as a completed boiler. And the 30's boiler, which uh, I'm using to test fit it on the 32's chassis to make sure that everything's right and it fits perfectly. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. All right, and uh, here we are in the final segment of this tutorial on how to build a steam locomotive boiler, at least the way I do it. Uh, so as you can see, I'll show it, I'll try my best to show it in the light here. 
I have buffed out uh, about all of the nicks and scratches. It's really hard to see because it's pretty dark. Let me hold it up to the window. Yeah, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it all that well. But uh, you can take my word for it. It's about done. The, now, the final thing I would do uh, before putting the domes and everything, uh, you know, on is I would, of course, put the final section of boiler jacket. I decided not to do the jacket on the taper section. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put the final section of boiler jacket over the firebox and then the boiler straps uh, in their locations. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is the completed boiler. Uh, and it's looking really, really good. I'm surprised I made so much progress so quickly. All thanks to having done the twin locomotive prior to building the 30. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later.